Hello, Facebook. Happy Thursday. I hope everyone's having a great, fabulous day today. I know I'm having a good day. I'm just going to get this video shared and then we'll get started with Ask Ashley. So if you're just jumping on, let me know where you're coming from. Say hi. Ask any questions that you guys have. I have the questions that you guys asked me from Snapchat today over here. So I'll be getting those questions answered for you. If you're new to Ask Ashley, this is basically just um, a time where once a week I sit down and I ask any questions that you guys have asked me over the week. It could be anything from health and fitness to questions about like my lifestyle or questions, just any question that you want to ask me. I try to get those answered for you at least once a week on this um, Ask Ashley video series. And I like to do it live because it's really fun when you guys are all here joining me. So I'm going to share this really quickly and then we'll go ahead and get started. If you're jumping on, say hi, let me know where you're coming from. And um, <clears throat> if you guys have any questions, just post them below as I go along. I'll get the questions answered for you guys um, that I already have. And then we will um, get the questions through the, uh, of course my phone's been ringing. We'll get the questions um, answered that I already have. And then I will get the questions in the comment section um, once I am done. So. If you're jumping on, let me know where you're coming from. Say hi. Again, this is the Ask Ashley video series where you guys can ask me any questions you want and I'll try to get them all answered. Um, let's see here. One second. Oh boy, that's not showing. And I hope my connection is good because I've had issues the past couple days with that. Okay, well, that's not working. So let's go ahead and get started. So again, hi, my name is Ashley, if you're new here, and I um, like to do this once a week where I share um, the answers to any of the questions that you guys have asked. So if you have any questions as I'm answering these other questions, then go ahead and ask them and I will get them um, answered for you. I have a bit of time where I can hang out with you guys tonight, so I'm up for answering anything that you guys have for me. So the first question I got is, what do you do when you fall off track? And I'm sure this is, because this came from Snapchat, all these questions came from Snapchat. And um, I'm sure this question is coming because of some things that I posted today and kind of this week. Like yesterday, I didn't get my workout in in the morning, I kind of slept in. And then today, um, I just had like, I'll just say it, a half workout this morning. I didn't, I really wasn't into it and I modified a lot of it. And um, so I get this question a lot is what do you do when you fall off track, whether you, you know, it's been a day off track, a week off track, or a month off track, whatever it is. But it's, it's just simple, you guys. You just have to pick yourself back up and keep going forward. Um, this morning, I knew like three minutes into my workout that it was going to be a pretty crappy workout. But instead of getting, instead of getting angry at myself or whatever, I just decided that it'll be what it'll be. Um, I talked about yesterday kind of in my how to get out of a funky energy live video that I did and um and I just you know I just said it is going to be what it's going to be I'm not going to quit I, I I pushed through the entire workout um and I modified a lot of it but it is what it is and then like if you fall off track with your eating or something like that it's the same thing just you just need to be able to recognize it and just be able to pick yourself up and keep moving forward it's really easy to let that um let that falling off track unravel. But if you make a conscious decision while you're falling off track that you're not going to let it unravel, then you're going to really, um, it's, it's going to be hard to jump back on. And then just knowing like how you, how much better you feel when you, um, when you're on track really helps. And, and I don't really like, like saying falling off track or on track. This is like a life, lifetime journey. It's not something where you're just going to like, I'm assuming that you guys are talking about health and fitness. It's, it's not something where you're going to lose like 30 pounds, 50 pounds, and then it's just going to be over. It's something you have to continue to work for. And I think that's something that people don't, and I think that's why people don't stick with it, is because they think that it, this is going to be something short term. Um, they think that they're going to get results right away, and that's just not the case. And they also think that this is something that they can just do for a little while, then be good to go, and then they're going to be done. But this is really something that's ongoing. So, so you need to make it make things habits, and you need to 
really, you know, figure out how you can fit this into your life. And, and that's what I teach in all my wellness groups. I like to teach how you can make these fits, not make this, this seem overwhelming and, and like how you can, if you fall off track, how to get back on and stuff like it happens. Life happens. Last year I was off track a lot with my workouts, but, um, I've been pretty good this year up until the kind of this week. I've had kind of a crappy with my workouts, but it is what it is. I know that either tomorrow will be better. Um, and, and that it, it is what it is. Like you just kind of move on. Okay. And the next question I got was, um, how to avoid cravings during that time of the month. I'm sorry if there's any guys on here, um, but it is what it is. And that's probably another reason I'm having kind of a crappy week, um, leading up to that. But if you are having cravings during that time of the month, you know, what? just it's okay. Like your body is kind of burning more calories anyways. Um, it needs a little bit more fuel during that time. And if you're craving chocolate or whatever it is, like let yourself have it. You're going to be so, you're going to feel so much better if you just let yourself have it rather than thinking for seven and trying to avoid it and then end up binging out on it. You know, like today I had, a, if you were on my Snapchat, you saw like I had a cup full of um, chocolate chips because that's the only chocolate I had in my house and I wanted it and it was okay. Like I, I, I said, okay, I'm going to have this. And so I, I, I ate it and I was done and I moved on. If I would have avoided it, like, let's say, like, I was like, no, I can't have this, and avoided, avoided, avoided it, um, at the end of the night, I guarantee you, I would have been trying to find anything that had sugar in it, and I would have been, like, st stuffing it in my mouth. So, the fact that I already had it, and I'm good, and I feel like I satisfied that craving, then I just can kind of move on. So, you know, it's not really about avoiding the cravings or trying to make them go away, because I don't think we can necessarily do that. Um, but... Also, I do have to say though, the more the cleaner the more, look the, that's what I did English. The cleaner your diet is, um, the eat the more the less cravings you're gonna have. So the you know the healthier you are eating, you're not gonna be really craving all of that crappy stuff. And and sometimes you do like sometimes I start craving things that I used to eat like six to seven years ago. And I have it, and it doesn't taste that good. And so then it's kind of like the next time I crave it, I'm like, well, last time it wasn't that that great, so I think I would rather have this. Um, so that that's definitely something that, you know, can be of your benefit and something to look forward to as you're jumping in into your health and fitness journey is really like your cravings will start to change. You'll actually start craving some healthier things. Um, don't forget if you guys have questions to go ahead and post them in the comments so I can get those answered for you. While I keep going, I have two more to go. Um, so the next question I got was, will I ever go back to working out at the gym? Um, that's kind of, I don't know with that question. It's kind of like a yes and a no kind of question. I don't know. I could, um, I think it was a year ago or I, a year and a half ago. I can't remember. Um, one of my friends, she, she could tell me when it was cause I texted her. I, I, one night I was on the couch and I'm like, Oh, maybe I, I want to get back into the gym and start doing some classes again, um, or I wanted to like just go use the weights there and stuff. Um, so I signed up for the gym that night and I never went. I think I paid for it for like a couple months and I'm like, this is silly. I'm not doing this. This is why I work at home. It's easy. It's not that far away. Um, but I don't know. Maybe I would in the future. Maybe I wouldn't. I, I feel comfortable here. Um, so, and I get, I get better results here than I ever did at the gym. So I have the best personal trainers in, in my living room. And, um, that's just what I need to get things done. I, I walk 10 steps to my gym and I get it done. So that could change in the future. Um, I do, um, I did enjoy a few years ago going to yoga classes in the yoga studio. I definitely enjoy that a lot. And, um, I definitely want to get back into that just right now is not, not a good time for me. So I haven't done that. Um, but that I could see myself going back to doing yoga in the studio a lot more than going back to a gym. So the next question I got was what, this goes along with the gym question, is what is my favorite um, at-home workout equipment or like what do you need to work out at home? And it, it's really pretty simple, you guys. You don't need a lot of equipment to work out at home. Um, I should have brought some of it with me in here, but basically bands. Like um, we have bands available, like, or you can get them on Amazon or whatever. I'll post links to all of this below, but just any type of like resistance band. Basically, you can get a same a great workout with a resistance band, just the same as you could get with um, weights. 
Um, or if you're looking at weights, I would say like five, eights, and tens are probably a really good place to start with weights. Um, and, and those go great with like the 21 day fix or any other workouts that you can do on, on demand. And, um, um, and okay. So the, like five, eights and tens are where really I would really get started with. Um, and then the other, if, and then if you really start going up in your weights and you're, you start lifting heavier weights and that sort of thing, I would really, really suggest, um, I would really suggest getting the Bowflex Select Tech weights. Sorry, I got distracted there for a second. Um, they are a bit of an investment, but they go up to 50 pounds, or I believe there's another one that goes even higher. But I have the ones that go from, um, I believe it's 2.5 pounds or 5 pounds to 52 pounds, and it's perfect for me. They, have, you know, I don't need to go any higher than that, and um, so those are great. They were an investment, but I've had them for like. I don't know, four years, and and I love them. The next thing is if you are working out on tile or anything like that, I suggest getting some kind of jump mat to protect your knees. And um, you guys see that black mat I have laying out. It's not a yoga mat. It's actually a jump mat. So those are the things that I use, and those are the things I would recommend. You don't need much to start working at home. Okay, so the next question I got is how did I discover I had Hashimoto's? So um, I've shared – this, um, I think it was last week, I don't remember. But I'll give you a little bit of the condensed version of this story. I think you did spell it right. Um, but um, I discovered I had Hashimoto's because I was struggling with, I was struggling with energy. I was struggling with weight loss. I was, uh, well, my weight was going up and down, up and down, up and down. Um, I was struggling with hair loss. And um, I couldn't focus. I couldn't focus on anything. Like it was everywhere. I was so tired all the time that, um, like, just during the day sucked. But as soon as I went to go to bed at night, I would be up all night. I was. Now that I look back, when you once I got um, diagnosed, I could see like more symptoms that I was having. Like I would, I would be cold all the time, um, and and just like just different things that were really weird and. The way that I actually got diagnosed was I began, I got so sick and tired of the way I was feeling, um, and I was struggling a lot with my weight going up and down. So I started um, looking into the keto diet, the low-carb, high-fat diet, and I read uh, the Keto Beginnings and Fat Fueled, well, I listened to them on um, audiobooks, and when I was reading Fat Fueled, she really dives deep into, like, food sensitivities and different, like, thyroid issues and things like that and when I was reading it I'm like there 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 has to be something wrong um with my thyroid and so the doctor that I was going to at the time she didn't really want to listen to me she basically said that I had ADD and like that was that she never even did any any blood work on me or anything um also after I had my first son I did have blood work done um, and my thyroid was low then and they tried to put me on meds, but it kind of leveled out a couple months later. So I kind of had the idea of that, that may be what's happening, but I, I started researching doctors, um, and I found a doctor that, uh, I could go to and she, she was perfect. I did have to pay for her because it wasn't covered under insurance. Um, but she listened to everything I had to say. And she ordered me a whole panel of tests, and, and then that's how I kind of found out. But I kind of discovered it on my own before I had the blood test because I was just so sick of not getting any answers from my doctor and feeling like crap and losing my hair and not being able to focus on things and just not, like, I had brain fog so bad. Like, I remember driving down the road and just not even, like, knowing how I got to from, like, point A to point B and, and just being like something is not right. Um, so, so it was just kind of really being self-aware, doing a lot of research on my own. Um, I feel pretty good now, so I'm not struggling with that too much, and I've lowered my antibodies a lot, so I feel like I kind of have it under control. I feel like it's going to be like an ongoing battle, um, for the rest of my life, like an ongoing journey, just like with my health and fitness, but I feel like I have the tools now to, to keep it under wraps, and, um, and I really know, like, when I start feeling tired or I start seeing my hair falling out and things like that, um, that's something probably not right, so I need to tweak up some things. So that's kind of how I, I discovered that I had Hashimoto's. Um, I would say that I was probably in like a really good bad flare for a year and a half 
and I did I didn't know what was going on and I just couldn't figure it out I just thought that it was normal like getting getting older and, and going and having kids and your hormone hormones changing and things like that but I was definitely wrong about all of that so does any if anybody else has any other questions I can get those answered for you I don't see any popping up here but I can check because sometimes they don't come up on the computer I that my allergies have been killing me today here in Arizona it's just been crazy and so I'm kind of like tired from sneezing all day um all right, well, thank you guys for joining, and thank you guys for always sending me your questions. I really enjoy answering them, and um, I really enjoy doing this every single week. You guys, if you guys have any other questions for me, after this is over, you can send them to me. You can post them below here. You can send them to me on my Snapchat or anywhere else. I always upload these videos onto YouTube, so if you ever want to go watch past ones, they are available on my YouTube channel. I'll post that link below so you can go check it out. I also post other things over there if you would like to check it out. That would be Great. Thank you again. I hope you guys have a great night and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.